Hello everybody. Welcome to Toilet Tube Cat 2. So uh, I've already done Toilet Tube Cat 1 and in that video we made this which is the body of a cat. <clears throat> Can you see the ears and the tail? And it's all made with a toilet tube, as you can see, toilet tube and paper. Um, so if you haven't found that one, I haven't done that one yet. If you want to look at that one first and then look at this one, because today I'm going to show you how to make the legs for our cat. So as you might have noticed, he hasn't got any legs yet. So, okay, for the legs, we need another tube. Take your tube and cut it lengthways. Cut it down one side and then work out directly opposite the cut. Maybe we can make a little pencil mark. So wherever your first cut was, we need to work out where the opposite side is. So it's about there. This isn't very precise. So we make a little mark, if you can see that, just to show you where to cut so that you get two even halves of your tube. So cut down that line. Found it easy to start the cut that way, then turn it over, open up the cut, the, the bit you've already cut a little bit. And what we want to end up with is two halves that are about the same size, if you can see that. Okay, I'll just put them inside to show you that they're both the same size. Okay, so we're going to cut those in half so you end up with four bits, half down the middle, try and make those about the same size as well, okay so two like that and then two like this, so obviously two of them are going to be front legs, two of them are going to be back, so we'll do the back legs first, okay, put those to one side. Okay, so what we need to do, we're just going to flatten the top and that bit is going to be attached to our cat. Okay. But what we want to do is to make the back of the cat, back leg of the cat, look as realistic as we possibly can. The best way of doing that is to work out where halfway down your strip is. So it's about there. Make a little mark there and then draw a triangle just like that. Okay, you can see that, okay, and then cut that out. Now, we put it up against our cat body again. The triangle has to be pointing towards the head, okay? So get now, what we're going to do is to be going to draw a triangle at this back edge here. So just a triangle, a line across the bottom, just like that, okay? Now this isn't exact, it isn't precise, it doesn't really matter how big your triangles are. As long as it ends up that sort of a shape and if we tip a piece of cardboard on the side it's starting to look like the back leg of a cat. Again we put it on here and maybe put it at a bit of an angle you can see that that's starting to look a little bit like the back leg of a cat. Okay so this is quite important what you need to do is to hold your piece of cut out cardboard with the white, the inside of your toilet bowl. They're often white inside. 
and you need to check I've got this right. Got some notes here. Make sure we get this right. Yeah, okay, I nearly did it wrong. So we've got to sandwich the two insides together. Okay. This is so we get a mirror image of the back leg. So now what we can do is use this template to draw that triangle shape, and that triangle shape on the back piece of card. And we're just going to draw that triangle and that triangle. You see what I mean? So as long as they're inside curved to inside, white, white to white, not brown to brown, but white to white. Okay. Cut out that triangle. We end up with one leg ready here and the other leg. You see, so we just need to make sure that those two triangles are both pointing towards the head. Okay. And then all we need to do is to stick the legs to the body. Okay, we'll do that one at a time. As I say, we've flattened the top a bit, but we've left the curve at the bottom because that helps to make the leg shape a bit rounded. Piece of tape over the top and I'm going to stick my back leg at a bit of an angle, not straight pointing down, just a bit of an angle and quite near the tail and also thinking about where my ear is. So the ear is right there. But obviously this is the back of the cat. This bit is the tummy. So the leg, just put the leg where you think it looks exactly like a cat leg. Okay, and on the other side, same thing. Make sure the triangle's pointing the right way. Flatten off the top, curve the bottom off a bit. Bit of tape. Again, work out where it's going to go on this side, near the tail. Think about the ear and try and work out the sort of angle so it matches the other leg. That one is going there. Okay, so we've got two back legs on now. Looking pretty fabulous, I reckon. Okay, now we need to do the front legs. They're a little bit more straightforward. So we've got the two front legs. All we need to do is to draw a triangle at the bottom of this strip. Let me show you how. The cat front legs are a little bit thinner than the back one, so if you can see that. Just draw two triangles at the bottom, cut that out. Again, put them right side to right side or curved edge to curved edge if your toilet roll isn't, not, isn't right inside. And use that as a template to cut the other one out, just so that the legs look the same both sides. Because cat leg, cat's legs do tend to look the same to both sides. So we've used that as a template. We're going to cut out those triangles. Flatten the top off and curve the bottom up a bit. Bottom of the leg, flatten the top of the other leg. Bit of tape along the top of the leg, and then get your cat and work out where the front leg is going. So it's going to go quite near the ears at the front near the head. As 
one leg. Okay, and here's the other leg. And that's going same sort of pace. Okay, there it is. Right, I reckon it's just about ready and it stands up. Look at that. I think our cat is starting to look very cat like. You can turn him around so you can see him from all different angles. And that's why he looks so close up. Okay. So, the very last job we need to do today is to put a coat of paint on our cat. Now this uh, the, 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 the cat we've made is, has got a lot of sellotape on it because the easiest and quickest way of sticking things together is with sellotape. Now when you use certain kinds of paint the, the paint doesn't stick to the sellotape but if you use acrylic paint like that then it should do. It's quite easy to get hold of these, you can buy them online, it's not expensive, um, but you do need this kind of paint. And what we're going to do now is to cover the whole thing in white paint. So start at the head, cover the whole thing in white paint. And the idea of this is to cover up all of the sellotape, really, and any any other sort of the brown of the toilet tube. These these just happen to be brown. Yours might be a different colour, but it will cover up the brown colour as well. But once the white paint has dried on the tape, you can put any colour you like on top of it. So this is a kind of base colour. Just do this leg. So everything needs to be covered in the white paint. Okay. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so this is one I did earlier. This is just about dry, nearly ready for its coat of colour. And the next video, so that will be Toilet Tube Cat 3. Next one will be how to paint them, what sort of colours, and thinking about whiskers and the face and all that sort of thing. Okay. So, good luck with the legs. Hope, hope the legs come out fine. I'm sure they will. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.